Hey everybody, we're going to look at using the iPad with multiple instruments on the iPad, multiple apps into Logic Pro. Uh, we're going to do this a uh, couple different steps here. First of all, we are going to set up Bluetooth MIDI because that's one of the most important things. And you'll see right here that it is actually grayed out. Part of that is because we already have a connection. But you click on advertise, you open up an app on the iPad, and then you connect it. So this is the first step. And then you can see it's showing up here as an actual connected device. So Bluetooth MIDI is the first thing. Uh, next, we are going to use that same app, but we're going to use the audio devices and you click on enable the iPad here. Now this has to be connected with the cable. Uh, even though we're using Bluetooth MIDI, we're going to use the cable to run audio into Logic. So that's the next step is to connect the iPad with the cable, click on enable here, and that will make all the connections we need back and forth. Inside Logic, you'll see here that the output is our built-in output for the moment, and our input is the iPad. Okay, once we do that, we're going to have one audio track here. And on this audio track, the input is going to be input 1 and 2, which is the iPad. And then we have two, right now we have two external MIDI tracks. One of them going down channel 1. And the second one going down channel 2 with Samuel's iPad Bluetooth. So when I click on the first one, let's use our musical keyboard here. That's going to one app on the iPad we'll look at. And the second one. Now you'll see they're both coming in on the same track. And that's kind of how I want to run it for the moment. Because I'm going to leave the apps open on the iPad. They're going to be just virtual instruments which I can control on the iPad. And if I want to record them, I can just solo this out or add different tracks, but record them one at a time, real time, into this audio track. So for instance, let's do the second one here. And let's record. Let's see. And you'll see I got MIDI here and the audio. So we'll undo that for the moment. Now, right now we're just using this as a funnel though. We don't need it to be a record armed. Just use the input monitoring. And we have this one track already. Okay, so that's the setup. Let's now move into the iPad and take a look at what we have there. Okay, on the iPad, what we're going to be doing here is using this app. So let's give you the little screen here. Aum um, Keymatica. And what this is, is kind of a whole all-in-one uh, app for routing and doing all kinds of things here. Let's reload our apps. So what we have, let's add a new one so you can see what this looks like. Hardware input, audio unit, inner app audio, audio bus source, file player, or a mix bus. So the ones that we have already with Nave, these are inner app audios, but we do have audio units, and we can just put any of these on. Let's see if there's anything specific here. Let's do 
drum unit here. And even on this screen, we have a way back. Now these are all looped in together. We have mixing capabilities. We have output capabilities. And right now we're using that cable into Logic. And we can actually add some effects. Some basic EQ. And if we have other um, effects that we want to do, then we can actually add those on as well. And we can use third party ones. We're not just limited to this. But you can see that we can add separate ones there. So this is the app I'm using on the iPad to route everything. The other key element here would be the MIDI channel. So for instance in Nave, we come in here and we choose our MIDI input channel. Same as with this. You can see I'm changing it. Let's go back to number two though. So it goes up through 16, Omni, and number two. So that's how I'm routing that with logic. So one of them was on MIDI one, the other one was on MIDI two. I've noticed that some instruments, uh, and this is not an example of that, but uh, some instruments I have a hard time actually getting the MIDI channel to work. So for instance, one of these that I was using here that I really like, I wave station. Under settings, we can set up Bluetooth MIDI, but I still haven't found a place to set the MIDI channel. So inside the actual app here, we do have some options for filtering the channels, uh, but it's not as reliable I've found. And so it's just a different issue we're dealing with as it continues to develop. Okay, so you can see I've got four different instruments. I can add more. They're all going to go into Logic over that one channel, record them individually, or just let them play real time. Uh, this is a really awesome way to integrate the iPad apps into our Logic sessions. It requires mixing, level setting, and adjustments out on the iPad instead of inside Logic because we don't have the ability in this particular setup to do multiple channels. Okay, just wanted to look at this, show you this really cool way to hook it all up. See you tomorrow.